This is a tutorial on how to create a um, the line drawing of your animal or whatever you're going to outline. So we're not working with the colors or textures or anything yet. This is just going to be the outline. So first you need to find a picture. Um, you want this picture to be clear. Um, to have a full body might be best. Uh, so I'm going to be looking through these cat pictures. I already actually picked one, but I just wanted to show you a couple examples. Something like this would not be good since the cat is cut off. Same with this here. If the cat is like a macro picture of it, so this cat picture, like the face is really good, but the fact that the body is out of focus and cut off, that would make it not the best choice for this project. Um, something like this could work even though the tail is cut off. We could kind of guess what happens with the tail. So something like that would be pretty good. Um, but actually the one I am using is this little kitten right here. So you can go ahead once you find your picture. And by the way, uh, this is Pexels. So P-E-X-E-L-S. There's also Morg file and Pixabay. These are all free photo sharing sites that you can use for this. So go ahead and choose your picture. Um, I know on Pexels you can do the free download or if you right click it should uh, bring up the option to save image as. Once you have your image saved then go ahead and go to Photopea. I am using Photopea and I want you to use Photopea because it's easier. Um, we're going to be using the pen tool to do this and I tried it on Photoshop. It's a lot harder, a lot more complicated so using Pexels would be a lot easier. So I have my picture. Yours might be similar for me. I'm going to actually crop this down since there's a lot of extra space and I just want to focus on my subject, which is my little kitten. So I'll crop this down and then I can also, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So we are actually going to be using this pen tool. So if I click and hold down, there's the pen and then we're actually going to be using the free pen. So go ahead and choose the free pen tool. And then we're actually going to create a new layer. So over here in your layers bar, go ahead and create a new layer um, so that it's separate. We do not want to draw on the background. This will be its own thing because we're eventually going to delete the background. So up here at the top, your fill might have something chosen, but I already worked with this earlier, so it's got my settings. But what I want you to do is for the fill, make sure the red X is through it. We don't want a color on the inside. And then the stroke, go ahead and do black. Um, if you really want to do another color, I would suggest a darker color, but black will probably be the easiest. I discovered that nine is a pretty good thickness. Anything lower than that is kind of skinny. And we really want our lines to show up for this project. So I'm going to show you just a condensed version. You are going to do the full body um, as much as you can, but I'm just going to do the face and I have a pre-made version over here. Okay, so with the pen tool, so again, make sure you're on that free pen. This works if you click and drag and it kind of follows the line. I was going to have us use the brush tool, but the brush tool is actually really hard to control where the free pen uh, works with you a little bit more and it helps you kind of get some of these lines. So I'm just going all the way around and I'm actually gonna, I know there's not a real line here, but I'm gonna cut through and create a line here just to break this up a little bit for myself, make it a little bit easier for me. And I'm gonna go all the way around. Whenever you end a line, try to, if you can, if it's a shape, you wanna make sure they, those lines connect. So I have that whole outline and you will see that it creates a layer here or we did it on that layer. Now if I go and I draw another shape in here, you don't have to do shapes, you can do lines and such, but you can see it actually creates another layer and it's going to keep doing that. But we're eventually going to merge all those layers together. So I will go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and draw all around there. You want to try to make it as precise as possible. I'm going quick because it's a tutorial. So stuff like that, that looks kind of messy. Make sure you take your time because you will have more time than this. Okay, so pretend I did the whole thing. Boom, I'm over here. It's a little scary. Again, I was going fast. So this is if I, you know, I your completed version, this is what your next step is. 
So I have all of these layers over here. I'm going to condense them all into one. So if you click on the top one, scroll down and then hold down shift on your keyboard and click the last one, you are going to right click and we are going to merge all of these in one just to make our lives easier. So now it's one solid layer. Okay. Now we are going to create another layer and this layer we're going to click and drag. So it's right here underneath the line work that we did. And then just go ahead and we're just going to create a white background. This is just so you can turn it in. So paint bucket, I'll just do um, the white background. So I'll just click here um, and fill that in white. Then I'm going to go ahead and delete my uh, picture layer. So now it is just these two layers. You can go ahead and save this. Uh, so again, make sure if you have shapes that come together. So I have these little stripes again, mine is not very good because I went fast. If you have shapes like this, make sure all of your lines come together so that you can fill that in later for the actual collage cubism part. So go ahead and save your line work. Um, export it as a JPEG, and then you can turn it in on Google Classroom.